Today we're going to explain how to program the H100 for the basic setup parameters. The H100 is our HVAC and fan and pump drive. Okay, using the easy start menu, you'll see when a power first is applied, it will come up and ask you if you want to use it. You select enter for yes. The first question is, do you want to use a macro? If you select basic, that's no macro. We do have some macros that you can use for specific applications or compressor, supply fan, exhaust fan, cooling tower, circulation pump, and vacuum pump. If you do select a macro, it's going to automatically assume that you're going to need a PID feedback signal. So if you're not using the internal PID control for the H100 drive, then don't select a macro. So we're going to do basic for this one. The next question is, is the motor that you're using 50 or 60 hertz? And it is a 60 hertz motor in most cases. Then what's the motor capacity in horsepower this time? So we're going to select whatever horsepower it is. Next, we're going to select the motor rated current. Using your arrows, you can change it. Next question is, what's the motor rated voltage? We'll set it to 230. Enter. Then also the pole numbers. Four is always our default value, but we can change it if necessary from there. Then we're going to select the input voltage for 230 volt drives, or it's always set up for 220, can change it to 230. And if it was a 480 volt drive, the default value is 380, and you can change it from there. The next question wants to know if you want to do an automatic restart. So if you turn the bits both to the on position, select enter, then you set automatic restart. If you want the drive to automatically retry a number of times after there's a fault, you change the next one to whatever amount of times you want it to try to attempt to reset. The max value is 10. If for some reason you would lose power to the drive in the middle of a remote location and you want the drive to automatically restart, you can change the next question, power on resume, you change it to yes and select enter. That power on resume only works if there is a digital input telling the drive to start. If you want to do a speed search, you can change some bits there. In this case, we don't need to do anything. And the next question is, how do we want to start and stop the drive, the command source? We are going to start it with the digital inputs, FXRX1. We'll leave it there. Next question is, how do we want to control the speed of the motor? So frequency reference source. And that we will just leave at the keypad for this demonstration. If for some reason you needed to change to a analog input speed pot, you can change to V1 or I2. V1 for 0 to 10 volts and V, I mean I2 to 4 to 20 milliamps. And that is the basic setup for this. Next we will start the motor. In order to use the H100, you have to use the drive in the auto mode. So the auto button has to be pressed. So you press the auto button and the LED will flash until it gets the signal it needs to start the drive. Set the speed and turn the digital input on. And that's the basic setup for the H100.